Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the following question, and the question says, Part one: Make P the subject of the formula I is equal to P into R into T upon 100. Part two: Make D the subject of the formula S is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 the whole into D. The whole. Before we start solving the question, let us first recall what is subject of a formula. Subject of a formula is a variable. That is expressed. In terms of other variables, so this is the key idea for this question, and using this key idea, we will solve the question. Let's start the solution now. In the first part, we are given this formula. And we have to make P the subject of the formula. So for part one, the given formula is I is equal to P into R into T upon 100. We have to make P the subject of the formula. Going back to the key idea, we have. Subject of a formula is a variable that is expressed in terms of other variables. Here, I is the subject of the formula as it is expressed in terms of other variables, that is, P, R, and T. So now we will write P in terms of other variables, that is, I, R, and T. So we will express P in terms of other variables. For this, we will keep p on one side of the equality and transpose the other terms on the other side of the equality. This implies p is equal to i into 100 upon r into t. So, in this formula, p is the subject of the formula. Hence, the required formula with subject P is P is equal to I into hundred upon R into T. This is the final answer for part one. Now, in part two, we are given this formula, and we have to make D the subject of the formula. So, part two is S is equal to n upon two into two a plus n minus one the whole into D the whole. Now we will open the brackets. So this implies S is equal to n a two n two get cancelled plus n upon two into n minus one the whole into d. Now we have to make d the subject of the formula. So we will transpose all the other terms on the other side of the equality. This implies s minus n a is equal to n upon two into n minus one the whole into d. This implies two into s minus n a the whole upon n into n minus one the whole is equal to d. 
So in this way we have expressed D in terms of the other variables. So D is the subject of the formula in this formula. Hence the required formula with subject D is D is equal to 2 into S minus N A the whole upon N into N minus 1 the whole and this is the final answer for part 2. With this we end our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.